What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, I was a little lost on what to do. I kind of knew what I was doing, but uh, I took care of a lot of stuff in Shinshu Field that needed to be bloomed and destroy the last two demon gates, which you've already seen me fight, so nothing big. And if you talk to this guy, he'll tell you if there are any trees or anything here in the village, Kamiki Village, that needs to be bloomed. And uh, I got every single tree, as he's going to say, and now that it's all done, we can progress, progress with the story. I didn't realize you had to get every single tree. I thought you just had to get everything in Shinju Field, and it was all the garden saplings, and that was good. But you need to get every single tree. And also, something I wanted to do before we uh, left here. Of course, I'd get a bad camera angle. Because now we can actually start getting on with the story, but one last thing I wanted to do was... Yeah, you can slice that orange on top of Mr. Orange's house. And get a whole bunch of oranges. Which is awesome, and then it respawns every time, so... Grinding, maybe? Yeah? No? No. I don't think you need to grind in this game. Not really. I did, kind of, though. Just for like money because I didn't have any. But now I've got a bit of money after fighting quite a few demons. And if we're going up here, actually I really I really do like this whole uh, the village like reminds me of um like the Legend of Zelda. I know the whole game is kinda like Legend of Zelda in a lot of respects, but the village especially. At last. At last the answer to all of my prayers. All the village, village's trees have sprung back to life. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good earth. Yes, it is time for the Konohana Shuffle. I shall summon back the spirit of the divine tree. Konohana. Sake of Valor. <laughs> but first, I must break my vow. Oh yeah, you just want to drink, dude. I shall gingerly sip. This sake soon will be. We'll see the blossoms. <laughs> you call that gingerly slip uh, sipping? Look at that. He's he just chugged the whole thing. Gingerly slip my ass. Oh yes, yes. Oh boy. This is a little interesting. Uh, hey Gramps, you okay? You got a really weird looking thing in your eye. Snowball, Isu. What you're about to see is the stuff of legends. A drunk guy dancing? <laughs> Look at my rust. Behold, the secret of secrets. Ah, yes, the secret of secrets. I give you the Konohana Shuffle. Most epic dance ever. Alright, this is kind of tricky. Alright. Bloom it. Okay, we really don't want to mess up any of these because if we mess a single one up, we're going to have to start all over. Alright, just draw big circles and connect them. That's the big idea. The big idea. And that's... What are we on? Three now? Oh, that was... Oh, thank God. And the games should really register what you're trying to do here. I mean, like, I'm not trying to draw bombs. Like, I'm... So come on, right? It's obvious what you need to do. I think the last one here is kind of hard because they put it on the sun. Like, behind the sky, so... There's a chance you could draw the sun. Alright, let's see. I think there are only five. I hope so. <laughs> His dance is so crazy. Alright, here we go. Dude, come on! Oh, come on, dude. Who would put that there like that? It didn't work. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. We had like four or five. Oh, is the Konohana Shuffle nothing but a shame? Well, you did just get drunk, dude. No, it cannot be. I won't give up. I shall keep dancing till Konohana blossoms. Once again. W once more with feeling. Alright, if we do the same thing again, I'm just going to cut to the point where we eventually get it. I don't like to cut a lot, but it's like, things like that could have really been tweaked a lot more, you know what I mean? Like, who, why would you have to put that right behind where the sun would register as a circle? Otherwise, there'd be no problem. Alright. Ah! Oh, fuck you. Thank God. Oh, epic. Simply epic. He's wasted.
Ah, great Amaterasu. Sasakuya? You're alive, and you... Oh, you look very nice. <laughs> right. Little bug friend, I see you are full of spunk as always. She's so chill about it. I always owe this elderly gentleman the deepest thanks. What bravery. Mere words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. Thanks to you, all I have been restored and regenerized. Go. Uh, of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious god Amaterasu. Praise to you. Well, couldn't you give us some praise? Aren't you kind of like a god yourself? Well, no, you, I guess she's a spirit, huh? A very... Never mind. You know, she kind of reminds me of, like, the great fairies in, like, The Legend of Zelda, but not as transvestite. <laughs> I cannot guarantee that this will mean salvation for Nippon. But if you restore the guardian saplings spread about the land... Oh, here we go. You too. Can I just be a statue again? I was chill there. You too will benefit from the power of the results. I will remain Kamiki, praying for you, praying for your missions and success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Really? Fresh scent of flowers? I, I wouldn't expect the fresh scent of flowers to protect us. And magically gone. Kind of. I guess she lives in that tree like it's her spirit tree. I don't know. I'm not the... I'm no expert. Oh man, what now? Oh, here's a good reward though. Okay, let's not mess this up. There we go, sweet. <laughs> that was kind of funny. This game has good humor, it really does. Ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good in Mother to us all. Long have I hidden myself here among the nature of Kamiki. But the time has come for I, Hasugami, proud member of the Hanagami trio of floral gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance on your grave quest. So I, there are like, there's like a, th there's like three different blooming techniques. There's the one we got that like, um, you know, we draw the circle and it brings the plants and trees back to life and everything. And actually it has other uses too that I'm going to show off. Well, I found them messing around. Holy smokes, that was Hasagami. Yeah, he, I know, he just announced it. <laughs> With the water lily power, how do you know? You can create lily pads in the water. And this doesn't sound useful and it's really not used that much. But it is, I mean, it's completely necessary in a lot of places. So, at least it's not underused. Well, it's just not, it's not very impressive, I guess, in my opinion. I've been eyeing that Yeah, actually, I have too. Chest for some time. Why don't you create some yet lily pads here? And this is just giving us a demonstration because this isn't Mega Man where we get our power and then it shows it off. So if we draw a circle uh, in the water, lily pads pop up because if you notice, and I'm sure I already went over this, that we can't actually swim. Well, we can swim, but we slowly drown over time. Uh, what a CS smirk. Don't tell me you soon. At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. Yeah, that's nice. I know, now that you have the new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Ah, see that? They put that in special text. That means it's important. Remember the water leading up? I know. Actually, I wanted to go out there and almost died. I remember. Trust me, I didn't forget. I usually don't forget near-death experiences. Our little Sakiya is back to her old peppy self, but... There are still lots of guardian saplings, yep. Our adventure is not nearly over. It has just begun. And our heroes continue on their quest to the... Oh wait, this isn't that kind of game. It's really beautiful, though, I mean... And I'm someone who likes, you know, like... N64 graphics and consider those to be beautiful. Alright, so can we just jump up here now? Oh, yep. Oh, come on. I guess I should have drawn it closer. Whoa, I'm glad that registered. Yeah, and it can pretty much save our butts. You obtained a sun fragment. 
collecting all three of these. It's pretty much like a heart in Zelda, um, which I think is a good. It just it's a good system that works, and I like it. Uh, and there's just three instead of four. And actually, that makes me think. Um, now we're pretty much done here. I I mean we've helped everyone. We've done everything. I think there'll be yeah there'll definitely be more here to do later and everything. But uh, for the time being, I mean, we've done everything, so uh, I'm going to actually meet you guys back at Hana Valley because I did something off-camera, so uh, I'll see you there. So when I was roaming around, figuring out what to do, I came back to Hana Valley, and uh, I didn't I know I didn't pick this up on my own, but I know that now if you bloom all the trees and bloom everything here and revive everything, you get uh, kind of a small secret, a treasure chest, and that sun fragment reminded me that there was a sun fragment here too. So now we actually have two, which is pretty cool, so one more and we'll have a new unit of health. But I think that's going to end it off for this episode. We finally, we're actually moving on with the story now. We're pretty much past the tutorial stuff, and from here on out, it's going to be enjoyable. So in the next episode, I'll meet you guys over at uh, the Agata Forest, I believe it is, and uh, we'll move on with the story from there. So until then, I thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. And until next time, later.